Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. I've spent years studying the impact of flow on personality type. So what I found is that when people are in a state of flow, when they feel well-being, energy, motivation, calm, stability, control, and relaxation, they act differently than when they are tense, bored, drained, tired, demotivated, or anxious. Now this should not be very controversial, but People have a flow type and that is who they are at their best and they have a stress type and now today I relaunched my first findings of my stress type test. So on the opposite of your flow type you have a stress type and most people will become very different under stress. What I found is that people who are a certain personality type in flow will become another personality type in stress, a negative version of that personality type. Now, my first findings are here and I've done a test and I've had so far 113 people who took the survey and I want to get 1000 people before I go into more in-depth statistics. But here are my first findings, 81%, listen, 81% of you say that you have changed your personality or behavior as a result of the corona crisis. So the corona crisis, the lockdowns, the quarantines and the fear and the stress and the media and the disruptions and the disease itself has caused an immense stress on people and caused a lot of people to change their behavior and lifestyle around significantly. So 81% of you who took this personality test said you have become somebody else as a result of the events that have happened. At least temporarily, you've changed your personality. So 19% then are people that uh, say that they have been relatively unaffected by the crisis. 90% of the people who took the survey say, yeah, I'm more or less the same person today as I was yesterday. I have not been very affected by what's happening. I'm still me, I'm still happy, I'm still in a good state of mind, and I'm still uh, able to do my work and go about my lifestyle and life normally. Now, let's talk about how people change during stress. And here are my first findings. Most people have become more introverted as a result of the crisis. Most people have become more perceiving or more adaptable as a result of the crisis. Most people have become more thinking as a result of the crisis. And most people have become more sensory during the crisis. You could say this is a crisis that overall has caused a movement where people have become more ISTP-like. So it may be that just this kind of a crisis and this kind of a situation really gets most of us to change our behavior to becoming more introverted, more careful, more methodical, more logical, more rational, and more adaptable than we normally are. Then let's talk about how different types change. What I overall saw was that almost all extroverts became more introverted as a result of the crisis, where some introverts become more extroverted during the crisis. So there are some introverted personality types like the ISFP, the INTP and the INFP. And those types all say that the crisis have got them to become more outgoing than they were before. So that's quite interesting. Uh, introverts, some at least some introverts seem to experience that during crisis and anxiety, they become more extroverted. And some extroverts or most extroverts say that the crisis has made them become more introverted. Now, this is all overlapping with my personal theories. I've always said that uh, people tend to act like the opposite of themselves when they are anxious or stressed. So in a state of pure stress, people tend to change their personality around to becoming an opposite version of themselves. And this is also what I'm seeing here. I see ESFPs that test as ISTPs as a result of the crisis. I see ISFPs that test as INTJs. I see INTPs that test as ESFPs. I see ENFPs and ENTPs that test as ISTJs. So that's a pretty dramatic shift already there. People are becoming and acting very different to who they normally are because of the situation that's happening. 
Now, I also tested for neuroticism and assertiveness during this situation. So what I wanted to see was, are people overall uh, going to become more anxious or neurotic as a result of this kind of a situation? Or are they becoming more assertive, more controlling, more secure and more uh, confident as a result of the crisis? And the surprising findings I'm making is most people are because of the situation and because of the stress choosing to be a bit more confident in themselves, a bit more proactive, a bit more pushy, a bit more strong in themselves than they normally are. So people are being actually less neurotic than usual because of what's happening. Uh, people are choosing to stay strong and to act confident and to try to be uh, the best versions of themselves. So this is pretty good. This shows that the people are very good at emotional management. People are choosing to stay confident and to be assertive because they want to think proactively. How do I manage my situation? How do I move on? How do I keep going despite the fact that I might lose my job or despite the fact that the economy is going down or despite the fact that my business is losing money? People are choosing to manage their anxiety and emotions and to stay strong. Now, some people here obviously are struggling as well, and a lot of people are still struggling. I mean, people can still be neurotic despite the fact that they choose an assertive strategy. People might still be worried or anxious or stressed because of what's happening. The thing I'm showing here is not that people are feeling less neurotic or less worried. It's that they choose to be more assertive and choose to be positive and choose to see the good shining rainbow at the end of the horizon, despite the fact that it's looking quite dark in this very present day situation. So which personnel types are more susceptible to stress? Now, okay, what I found here was that INFPs and INFJs are some of the personnel types that are hit the hardest during this crisis. Introverted intuitives overall, including INTPs, say they feel more stressed as a result of this crisis. So, what I'm seeing here is that uh, people are... People who have introverted intuition in, as a flow function, and that includes INTPs, they have it as a flow function, not as a dominant, but as a flow function. They feel more stressed by what's happening around them. And it's not far to realize why. I mean, these types, they are extroverted sensing stress or extroverted sensing blind. And that means that the, the media, the shares, the news that's constantly booming around, around them, the people around them, the energy, the high tension, the stress of the people around them is hitting their nervous system pretty hard and causing a stress, a usually stressed response. I mean, these types are also some of the most likely types to test as highly sensitive people. And it's not weird that these people react more strongly and more negatively to the situation. Some personality types seem relatively unaffected. For example, the ENFJ or the INTP, uh, sorry, not the INTP, but the INTJ. And uh, that's pretty interesting. INTJs, they seem to deal pretty well. ENFPs, they seem to deal pretty well. ENFJs, they seem to deal pretty well. So why is that? Are they better at uh, managing the situation? Do they manage their emotions better? What is it that causes them to stay calm during these kind of situations that INFPs and INFJs and to some extent INTPs struggle with? Now I want to go over some quick things you can do to manage your health and mental well-being during these situations. So if you're an extrovert, I would argue it's important that you get the ample of time to connect with other people around you, to hear what other people are doing, what they're going through, what's happening in their life to make sure you stay connected to friends and family members. I think that's very important. To have a steady stream of new things to do, uh, things to watch, people to, things to learn, things to work on, think, create the projects, you know, things that keep your mind moving and stimulated. As an introvert, I would talk about the importance of tuning out rather than uh, getting overwhelmed by everything that's happening around you. So managing the time you spend listening to the news, uh, managing the energy you spend on other people and setting boundaries for yourself if it's too much. Learning to relax and unwind and say, oh, 
I don't have to watch every show about this. I don't have to check every statistic. I don't have to be constantly scrolling through social media. I can tune out for a bit and I can take some time to myself. Then as an intuitive, I will talk about the importance of, during these times, meditation and relaxation techniques. So times to unwind, to slow down and to do things more carefully. You don't have to rush through things. You don't have to constantly be uh, restlessly moving through the room and scanning everything that's happening around you. You don't have to uh, be constantly on or present to everything that's happening around you. You don't have to uh, constantly be doing something. So take time to relax. Even during these crazy times, it's important to recognize that you don't always have to be on doing things. You can meditate you can relax you can slow down you can sit down you can take some get some massage maybe ask your boyfriend or your girlfriend to give you a massage give you ask your take a bath you know do those things that just help you build up some energy and uh, help your mind st stay stimulated then i will say learn some new skills or do some new creative projects and find some creative outlets i think that's very important then i would say for sensing types i would say uh, the opposite keep yourself busy with things you know always try have something to do you know it can be anything just for fun it doesn't have to be productive or for work or for a practical reason it can also be just uh, uh, dancing and putting on some music just for the hell of it or it can be uh, just walking up and down the stairs in the apartment you live in it can be you know doing those things to just keep your energy moving and your body rolling even though you're quarantined or whatever is happening in your area then I will talk about the uh, feeling types and I would say, yeah, as a feeling type, it's important to manage your emotional boundaries at this point, because I think it can be easy to get overwhelmed by the fact that you're not able to help everyone around you and that there's so many people outside of you that to worry about. So try not to worry too much about other people and try to focus on also your own needs in these times, you know. Uh, it's not wrong to be a bit selfish during these times and to think, okay, what do I need now? Because, you know, uh, everybody is suffering and everybody is going through this together. So everybody also needs to look individually at themselves. What do I need to be happy now? What do I need to move on? What do I need to stay positive? So find something to dream about during these times and try to keep dreaming, even if it's hard or even if it feels like, what do I have to dream about? What travels could I do? What I don't know anything about the future, you know? Still try to dream a little bit or find some escapes and some small fun things that can keep your uh, mind active and imaginative. As a thinking type, I would say, uh, look at uh, and recognize uh, your emotional needs and listen to your emotional needs as well as uh, just keeping busy with work and trying to stay ahead of the economy and trying to coop your losses or trying to stay afloat also think about your emotions and your feelings and your struggles you know recognize your anxiety recognize your struggles what i did see on this test was that most thinking types refuse to deal it and recognize their anxiety during these times most of these types are trying to stay confident and trying to stay positive and while that's often admirable at times that can lead to long-term stress and long-term pain it can be that you are building yourself up for long-term stress and pain in your shoulders and in your back and in your as a trauma for the future so keep a watchful eye to your own emotions and uh, take time to listen to your emotions too. For judging types, I would say have a consistent routine, you know, get dressed at a certain time, you know, uh, go up at a certain time, still set the alarm, still uh, go to bed at a certain time, you know, don't uh, get too spread out and don't lose your routine in these situations because your routine can be very helpful for maintaining and balancing stress. Uh, if things are too chaotic and too up and about and if uh, everything is very vague, uh, that can be very difficult for you so do have some time set to yourself to do things at certain times during the day and uh, spend some time planning and structuring and organizing your room for perceiving types i would say uh, it can feel like everything is stale right now and that you're kind of stuck and that you can't go anywhere or do anything uh, but there are still things you can do to break off. I mean, as long as you keep a two meter distance from other people, you can still go outside. And even if uh, 
uh, things are a bit uh, stale and boring there are still things you can do new places to go to new walk routes you could take new uh, music you could listen to so try to think creatively like how can i uh, keep things afloat and how can i feel free during these times as well because there's a lot of restrictions right now and that can be very hard on you now the study is going on. I'm updating the test. I'm updating the survey. I, I want 1,000 results. I want 1,000 people to take this test uh, to get a closer idea of what's happening and a better idea of what's going on. So I want more personality types to take the test. Uh, I'll be honest, 30% of the people who took the test were INFPs. Come on, 38%, 38.4% were INFPs. So that's almost half of the people who took the survey. Other personality types also need to contribute to this uh, because this is very important. This can reveal the secrets of the mind and how the human mind is affected by flow as well as by stress. Now, let me know what you found most interesting about this survey and what would you like uh, to see. Tell me how you personally have been experiencing this situation and how you have chosen to respond to it. And let me know what personal type you are. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next.